All right, Dick, thank you. He is brash, he is big, he is outrageous, he is mean. He scores, he rebounds, he dunks, and he cheerleads. He complains and bickers. He is Charles Barkley, but is he the boss? James Brown now with a story of how Charles became Charles. He called everything from the round mound of rebound to simply Charles the Great. An NBA All-Star with an intimidating style and fiery personality. One which Barkley developed long before becoming a household name. This is where it all began for Charles Barkley, just a shout away from his house here in Leeds, Alabama. It's been many years since he sharpened his rebounding skills on this rusty backboard, but like this old court, Charles is always close. Still, just a shout away from his very special family. Hello? Hello, Granny. This is Charles Barkley with Philadelphia 76ers. How you doing today? Boy, I know you play for the 76ers. You have to tell me that every time you call, Charles Barkley. Leeds is where Barkley's family still calls home. His parents separated at an early age, and Granny helped raise him while his mother worked two jobs. Charles realized even then who the head of the family was. My grandmother's kind of like my father. <laughs> you know, she is the dictator of the house. You know, it wasn't a democracy, it was a dictatorship. My grandmother runs everything. I think my box is a little better than my bites. You know, I don't, I don't I'm, I'm not that tough, but no. I'm real firm when it comes down to showing up getting to the point. Getting to the point is one of the traits Charles has inherited. Never one to hide his feelings, he rarely backs down from a confrontation. He wants to be tough, but he is tough, and he got to be tough. And I want him to be tough. I want him to be a man. If you feel like somebody is stepping on you wrong, you let him know. An avid sports fan herself, Johnny Edwards still dabbles in the sports she played as a schoolgirl. At age 62, she enjoys a calmer lifestyle than when Charles was a boy, even though she insists on keeping close tabs on him. Well, Granny, remember now I'm grown. I call him from Alabama if he does something that I doesn't approve of. And I tell him if I was close there, I'd hit you dead in your mouth, boy, because you talks too much or something, you know. Oh, yes. Yeah, Little good. has changed after all these years. Granny still lives with Mom, but is still considered the head of the family. It doesn't bother me because it has made a difference. She has experienced much more than I have. She's lived longer than I have, and she's a very wise person. She's very wise. Sometimes when you're young, you're immature, and you don't understand. But in the long run, it starts coming to you. They, you don't, you know that they're right. You know that they're right. You know that they're right because uh, they just stay on you for some reason, and it's good for you. Boys become men, and some men become all-stars. But even the tallest of the tall become small when they go back home. And Charles brought his own television set with him and just finished watching that piece about Grandma. You know, Charles got married on Thursday night, but that's not the big news. Grandma's getting married March 3rd. You know, we call him Charles in the NBA first or nicknames will do. And that's the subject of our final comments when we come back. Stay with us. <laughs>